Pinero. Welcome to Guild the Garden. I'm Chelly Cuevas and today I invite you to celebrate Dia de los Muertos with me. Traditionally rooted in Mexican culture, Dia de los Muertos is celebrated all throughout Latin America on November 1st. Festivities include art, food, music, and the building of ofrendas, which are altars created with the intention of honoring a loved one who has passed on. So today I'm going to build an altar in honor of my grandparents Marcelino and Josefina Cuevas. Their grave site is located in Cuba, so building a Dia de los Muertos altar is perfect for me because it's a great way for me to honor them without physically being in Cuba. Although no altar is alike, there are a few items that you'll need to serve a very specific purpose in the construction of your Dia de los Muertos altar. These items include a framed photo of the deceased, marigolds, commonly referred to as the flower of death, the aromatic fragrance from the flower helps guide the spirit to the altar. Calacas and calaveras, meaning skeletons and skulls, perhaps the most recognizable of Dia de los Muertos symbols. Though there are many artistic representations of calacas and calaveras, they are almost always portrayed as being happy or in humorous situations. Calacas and calaveras are designed to poke fun at mortality, and items that belong to the deceased can be incorporated into your calavera. For instance, my grandfather was a barber, so I'm placing a comb in the hands of this skeleton. Candles. A candle represents the fire element. The fire from the candle welcomes the spirit to the altar and eases them after their long journey from the spirit realm. Incense. Another aromatic attraction used to guide spirits to the altar. Snacks and beverages, including former favorites of the deceased. This will help nourish the spirit after their long journey back to earth. Sugar skulls. Edible treats in the form of a skull. Images of religious figurines or people that were important to the deceased. My grandfather was a barber, so he gets barber supplies. My grandmother was a school teacher, so I incorporated school supplies into her basket. En papel picado or decorative paper. Bueno, jardinero, that's all for today. I hope I've inspired you to build a Dia de los Muertos altar of your own. And when you do, don't forget to share photos with me via social media by hashtagging Guild the Garden on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy Dia de los Muertos.